The following is the Adrian Board of Aldermen meeting, April 10th, 2023, courtesy of Mid-America Live News. Everybody's here. Uh, we'll have a roll call. Uh, Alderman Vick is absent. Alderman Hummel. Here. Alderman Bridges. Here. Alderman Sears. Here. Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. All right. Motion to approve agenda. Move we approve the agenda. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. We don't have anybody other than Ms. Kendrick there. We'll have to wait on you for a little bit. Can I move that we bump her to the front? The I'm going to stay for the meeting. All right. Thank you, though. Sure. Awesome. All right, Department of Reports, Emergency Management, Ken, you got anything for us? Just sirens work fine on the test, and uh, I did get a quote for some a replacement siren. I'll give those to Ryan. And... Okay, thank you, sir. Uh, Gary Disney's report in there. I, Gary did not uh, submit a report. Uh, he did send me a text earlier today saying that he wasn't going to be able to attend the meeting. He said that um, one of our uh, city pumpers, uh, number E2, that had been in the shop getting power steering pump and hoses replaced, uh, it is now back in service. Okay. Thank you, Ryan. Ooh, Chief Dillon. Uh, turn to report. Yep. I don't have one on if you want to read out loud if you do or not. No, that's fine. <clears throat> um, one other thing, I went and spoke with um, Peel today about the car because mm -hmm. it was over at Ethan's to get an alignment job and they found out the, the rear end wouldn't align so it had to get a new cradle put in the rear end. And uh, Bryce told me that thing is almost twice of what the what they estimate came out at. So it's almost $20,000 in damage. Um, he's hoping to get that cradle in this week and get it back in, get the alignment done, and we'll have it back on the road. Okay. Had a little bit of action this past week or two with the warm weather, haven't you? Yep. It's that time Good of times. Year. I see in the report that we used some of the uh, the money that the sheriff's office um, forwent the dispatch yep. for. Yep. So that's. Uh, that's great. Cars and be able to yeah. mules out of the car. They'll be able to track us where we're at. We'll be able to see where they're at and pull cat off there to see where everybody's out on calls. And be a good thing. Growth. Mm -hmm. All right, Ryan. Mr. Wesco. I submitted a report in writing. Yeah. You see that we have a uh, investment summary attached, the fund status and composition of cash report as well as the budget to actual financial report. Uh, point out that uh, since we've made that uh, change in banking uh, over the last five months, we've earned about $71,000. Um, we are getting closer to online bill payment. We actually have uh, the physical card reader so that people can make payments at the window. I'm uh, not ready to roll that out, but we're very close to roll that out. And eventually, the full, uh, the full, full blown program. Um, I met with the city manager at Butler. Uh, we discussed um, maybe using their facility or helping them to expand their facility to accommodate uh, stray animals from Adrian. Uh, right now, uh, we have a very small pen uh, out in our garage that we have to house the animals in. It's a very promising situation, and I'm looking forward to having further discussions and hopefully uh, have something to, uh, to propose uh, within uh, the next month or so. Um, I've met with all the department heads. Uh, we've had all of the budget conversations as well as the park board. Uh, I will start to compile uh, those requests. Uh, and then I will schedule time with the finance committee to uh, kind of go over uh, what their ask is and start having that next phase of the budget conversation. Um, I am at the 
changes to the accounting requirements. And so I'm being brought up to date on some of those changes, uh, as well as uh, what we can do with uh, different sources and uses of funds, as well as just, just uh, fund balance. Thank you, sir. Anybody got any questions for Ryan? I guess I do, but I can do it at the end there too. Okay. I saw in your report that you're gonna uh, you're going to uh, reach out to the finance committee to get a meeting sometime this month. So yes, that's yep. good. I'm excited about that. Uh, yeah, and, uh, and next month I will also be bringing before you some uh, budget amendments, so we can do some budget adjustments. Um, you know, some of our our, our line items uh, are over budget. Um, I kind of left them that way because I wanted to have a discussion with department heads and kind of what caused that, what goes into that. Uh, so we will be cleaning that up next month. Um, so look for that on the next meeting. Thank you, Ryan. Thanks, sir. Uh, I'm just going over Mark's report here. Tom, do you have anything that I really don't have a report, didn't submit one. That's fine. Uh, everything's pretty much the same old, same old. Um, all I did was bring you the numbers for the month. Uh, you ready, Yvonne? Mm-hmm. Okay, produce 5,813,000 gallons for the month, average of 187,500 a day for 13.2 hours average a day. Any questions for me? Got the generators all going. All that's good. They went through several uh, Monday uh, morning cycles, so everything's good. I have a question for you. Go right ahead. And you're gonna think I'm being silly, but I'm not. So last month, would are were you or maybe you were being silly? You talked about bottling our water and selling it. Would that be worth the trouble as far as making money or not? It, it's it's something that's being done. Uh, fun fact: the Missouri Rural Water, they have their own water that they had at the conference and everything comes from the Springfield water plant. So, so it, it can be done. It may be costly. I don't know, but it can be done. Do you know anybody that's doing that that you could talk to and saying is it more trouble than it's worth or is it or not? Uh, yeah, I can talk to some people on it and stuff. But yeah, it's 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 very viable, very can to be done. May have to do a, fine, a few adjustments you know, at the end of it or something like that to try to remove some of the chlorine out of it or something, but. Your, your main costs are gonna be having it checked. You're gonna have to have <laughs> checked on a monthly, monthly period, actually so many gallons you have to have checked. You're gonna have to have a, a heat sealer to kick the bottles out. I mean, it's, it's about a three machine process to be quite honest, and then you gotta figure out what kind of water you wanna call it. I, I was thinking you were gonna go out there and do it by hand. I can do that on Saturday. You're gonna have to have a very sterile well, if we broke if we broke even on it, it seems like then it would be, it would be a promotional thing. I think most people would try. You know, if they try a 500 case run, they would rather ship their water someplace and have it put into bottles. I mean, to be quite honest, it's just too expensive to do so. Yeah. Find out what you can find out, Tom. And, 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 and another fact on this that the bottled water regulations for bottled water are less than the regulations we live by. Imagine that. Huh? So yeah, I could go up the pump. <laughs> uh, I was actually, it's, I was thinking about the same thing just the other day. I mean, if if we could, any way that we can come up to to pass some savings on to the citizens on their water bills would be fantastic. Let's talk about that later. But yeah, I'm just, yeah. I'm not Shoot saying we need to open around. a discussion. But. Okay, thank you. Oh. All right. 
What we got? You Park Street. Yeah. yeah. Um, May fourth will be the May meeting. And it's at six thirty here at City Hall. Um, the board seems to be settling in place. I think everybody's got things going on, and uh, really don't have a whole lot else to say about that. I mean, you I got mean, anything to say about it, Ryan? You were there last time, wasn't you? I will. I will say that we have a very uh, passionate board that really believes in the park and is committed to doing what they can um, to improve it. So um, it, it, it'll be a good group to work with and, and to set some vision going forward. Awesome. All right. See you, Charlie. Do you have anything? I do. So I brought some brochures for you guys today for elected officials and city officials. Essentially, it's our COT training, city official training coming up in April and Independence. There's five different dates to choose from, but uh, Independence is obviously the closest. We also have Jeff City, Springfield, Lebanon, and Kearney. So if you guys would like to come to these, it's $30. It's from like 8.30 to 2. I went and, to last year's. Yep, exactly. And if you get, went to last year's, it's pretty much kind of the same thing. It's pretty updates. good, though. Exactly. So you always benefit from something if you go a second time, kind of learn something new. Um, I will be at the Independence one and the Springfield one if you guys want me to come join me at both. <laughs> so I'll leave these here for you guys. Thank you. Anything else? That'll do That's it. it? Mm -hmm. All right. No lawsuits or nothing like that? Not that no. I know of. <laughs> no, it is a good one. <laughs> All right. And I guess you don't have anything, Jeremy? We're meeting this month. You are meeting this so month? So I'm told. Okay. At some point. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. Moving on to consent agenda. I have a question about consent agenda. Yep. Um, and maybe this isn't worth messing with. Um, but the minutes um, don't talk about Jeremy talking about the ambulance situation. And I didn't know if those needed to be in there or not. In detail, they don't have to be. No. No, they just weren't in there at all. It wasn't. But he didn't mention that, and so I didn't know if that was a big deal or, or not. I don't. For me, it's not a big deal. You guys have an issue with it? I mean, you were basically just putting your two cents in. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter to me. Put them in there. Don't put them in there. Okay. It was in the papers. And yeah, I asked all a question. All over the local news places. So. <laughs> uh, I didn't, that's, and that's yeah. what made me think of it, that it had... had I mean, it, there was no action taken or <laughs> no movement because of it, so... Okay. Can I move that we accept the consent of it? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. No one finished business, Ryan? Sorry. So we can move right on to new business. All right. Approval of bills. Sorry? Approval of bills. That's part that of that. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's all right. All right. You're swearing in. Swearing in. So that's you and yeah, me. Yeah. All right. You guys had to some tough races. Yeah. yeah. Close. 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 Close in the marijuana. Fine. That's your name. <laughs> I'm at do swallow me swear that I possess all the qualifications. Do swallow me swear that I possess all the qualifications. Prescribed by this, for this office by law. Prescribed by this office. That I will support law. the Constitution of the United States and the state of Missouri. And I will support the Constitution of the United States and the state of Missouri. The provisions of all laws of this state affecting the cities of this class. The provisions of all laws of this city. Just going state. a little bit longer than <laughs> yeah. this state of this state affecting cities, affecting cities of this, of this class, class, of this class, and the ordinance of the city, and the ordinance of the city, and faithfully demean myself, and faithfully demean myself while in office, while in office. So help me God. So help me God. All right. Call the class. Oh, you you give us more credit, credit for memory. Welcome back. Welcome back. All right. Now for the. Mr. Mayor. Yes. I, I would just also note that um, the uh, marijuana tax did pass in Adrian, uh, so that will go into effect, uh, I believe, later this year. Now it'll go into effect, but we do not have any uh, sales to actually right. buy into. So sure. tax goes into effect, but 
Maybe you can move some numbers around there, Ryan, and make it look like we're making money. I'm just joking. That's a joke. Just a joke. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm writing the headline in my head right now. Right. Right. Ms. Kendrick? Yes. Would you please uh, address this, please? You got that? Would you like it? That's all right. She can no, no. I, this is a letter from my sister. Uh, okay. She lives near Camden and she works in Camden. Thank and you. she. Um, Thank you. There. Anyway, I'm sorry. The I printed this off the library and. That's fine. Obviously, but you're okay. Anyway, she didn't want to take off a day to come over here, and so she asked if I would do this, and I said sure. Okay. And I do. I tried to print off a copy of her um, her layout of her house. But it's not a real blueprint. It's just more of a. So what, what, what's the issue that we're dealing with here? She wants to put a camper on her property while she's building the house instead of trying to rent something or travel back and forth. And she works for Compass Health, and she's going to transfer to either Butler or her school. She's a licensed therapist. Okay. So. Ryan, what's our ordinance with this? So our current ordinance um, allows for a camper no more than 30 days. 30 okay. Days. Um, and so city staff uh, does not have an issue with this request, um, assuming that certain conditions are met. Um, and I kind of laid those out uh, in a memorandum there. Uh, the first condition would be that the property uh, is cleaned up of all the debris of the former residents. Uh, before the camper is moved on site and that construction is started uh, before that camper moves on site that way if uh, any of our other citizens ask uh, we can explain the process what's going on and then the final condition is is that while the camper is there there has to be demonstrated continuous construction improvement during that time frame okay is that a little blue house Yes, that'll have, yeah, it's okay. gone. Uh, Benny Gillis got rid of the rest of it this past week. Okay. Filled in the well, and it's, but now of course it's a nasty, muddy mess. But right. Do we happen to have a copy of the ordinance that we're referring to here available? Is there, is there a copy of the ordinance in the package here? I'm looking for it. Is it, is it about there? Do you know what ordinance it is? Do you have? Not, not right off, no sir. That makes it kind of hard to amend it. Yvonne, is it, is it in the um, I think the it's in 813. Code? I can go look it up or correct if you have it too. I would prefer that. I would like to yeah. send the ordinance. Sorry. Now, is this going to be an amendment issue or is this going to be, what's, what's the correct course of action on this proposal? So if, if the board decides to allow this, uh, what I would recommend is that we draft a contract um, that basically uh, you're, you're kind of granting a an exception, um, but we could do that by by contract to where you allow it given those conditions. Uh, I would defer to our attorney on the exact wordage. Okay, so we don't have to change any ordinance or amend any ordinance or anything like that. We just are voting to agree or disagree with moving forward with a contract with um, uh, Ms. Twyman here. Yes. For special circumstance. Correct. Okay. Yes. Okay. I still want to see the ordinance before we do that. Correct, which That's makes okay. sense. But, you know, in this case, too, with it being, instead of having to repeal the entire ordinance so you can amend it to, you know, allow this one special circumstance and then put it back on the agenda for next month, then that way with the contract you just have the special circumstance and go from there. Just out of curiosity, not that it would matter to me or nothing. Thank you, um, mm -hmm. Appreciate that. What is the status of this trailer? Is it newer? Is it older? It's a newer RV. I think like, she's getting it through Wilder over Clinton. Oh, okay. So she's she's already in, and, and I think I have a floor plan on my so this is phone, but it's okay. It's okay. It, it's okay. So it wouldn't let me yeah. send it off. Make because, sure it's not yeah. like some 1965 Airstream. No, no, no. Yeah. Stuff, no. Okay. And she said in here that she had, you know, 
was going to have it hooked right. up properly. Right. Sure. Sure. Right. So. Um, where are we at? Four. What? Okay. So it's so it'd be. This is ordinance number eight thirteen. It would be uh, section Special four point one dash two. Subsection A. Recreational vehicles as residents under use restrictions. No recreational vehicle may be used as a residence for longer than 30 days in one calendar year. In the past, it has been approved for the lakes that built theirs out on Cemetery Road or 1001 Road. While they built their house, they were allowed to stay in there by the last. So this would just be a special permit use. We're just going to mm -hmm. add that to one dash three, basically. Yeah, I don't. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't have a problem uh, with it. I just wanted to make yep. sure that we got the ordinance on record yep. for the minutes. Right. You know, is that a motion or is that just a permit? Do we make make a motion to add a special permit or does that just go with the permit? Let me ask the attorney. Um, how would how would you recommend uh, we we proceed with this? Mm. I think to cover bases, if you made a motion, I think, you know, then that way you have that on record that you did make the motion. It, I, I, any, any discussion? Go ahead. Well, the, I mean, I, I don't, it wouldn't be called a special use permit. No, it because wouldn't it's be. Not, because it's not, that's not in the section, so. Um, right, that's why we're, well, that's why we're discussing right. it. Right. Because it's not in there. So if we, because what I'm thinking is, so. They're thinking the construction is going to take nine months, so it's going to take a year. Um, I would say m my idea would be to grant this exception through contract for one year, and if the construction is not done after one year, that we revisit the issue. That would be, that's not a motion as of yet, it's just discussion. But mm -hmm. um, I'm all good with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that. Okay, okay, I'll, I'll make the motion. Yeah. Gentlemen, are, are you okay with the um, with the conditions that I have laid out? Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah. What's um, the lot must be cleared of debris from the tear down of the original residence before the camper trailer is placed on the site. Construction of the new residence must commence before the camper trailer is placed on the site. And adequate, consistent construction progress must be demonstrated for continued use of the camper trailer on the site. Ms. Kendrick, do we know when the construction is going to start? She, I don't know if she's gotten the, the gentleman to start, but she wanted to June first to be here. But okay. so let's let's why don't you make a motion that the contract will go in when she comes in to apply for it? Okay. Start date is that all right? Oh, start date. Yeah. Well, we'll have to vote on the contract mm -hmm. next month anyway. Right. But. We could go ahead and well. But we don't have to pass it now. We don't have to start right, right now. She has thirty days anyway. So if Anyways. she put it on there today, it would be good till next month, and we could revisit it next month. But I'll make a motion to um, to allow <laughs> City Administrator Westcote to um, write a contract agreement with Christian Twyman. To allow a camper or a recreational vehicle to be allowed to use for a residence uh, during the construction of her home, the terms of the contract are are to be determined by Mr. Westcote um, and presented to us at the next meeting. That's my motion. A second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. okay. Thank you. May I have a copy of what is required? Is, there, is that possible? Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. It's this what she's asking for. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Put you down a public comment. Okay. Anybody have anything from the public? Doesn't look like much public here. You guys have anything? That you want to discuss tonight? I just had a question about, I was reading the minutes again. Uh -huh. See, that's what happens when I read things. Yeah. Um, and Ryan, you'd mentioned that occupancy permits were needed to get going. Are those um, need to put, put in place for rehab phones? Is that something we're doing? With, or are we waiting for our board, or what's up with that? Uh, well, so that would, in order to uh, implement that, we would have to have our planning and zoning commission. Uh, initially, uh, when I brought it before you uh, last month, it was a uh, it 
was a discussion topic um, of things that we, we need to go ahead and move forward on. Uh, the timing of it, we, we haven't established. So uh, we, what, what I'd really like to do is I'd like to see our, our codes get codified. And I'm actually working with a couple other cities to borrow theirs and kind of show you what that process looks like. Because sometimes it's easier to adopt um, just kind of a blanket adoption and then go back and uh, amend the ones or remove the ones that don't necessarily apply. So my, uh, we'll discuss that at our next meeting. Okay. Just checking. Uh, I, I figured I'd just ask you while we're in quorum um, what I contacted you about last week regarding our contractor for the uh, ordinance compliance and we had any movement on that uh, I will uh, I have not heard back from them I will go ahead and uh, make contact with them again and we'll get that scheduled and I will uh, let everybody know when they're going to Okay. Because our, our next step with the tour, and then uh, right. we'll hit the ground running. All right. Thank you, Ryan. Okay. What? One thing I'd like to bring up was, they came up there in the parks board. We sat here and we told the optimists that we were going to let them take over the arena. Am I correct? We were all sitting in the same meeting. We were here. Optimist or Chad shows up to ask if he can use the arena. Parks board says sure. I think there's a little conflict there. I, I don't know if anybody's contacted anybody. I wanted to wait and see if maybe someone came to you all or came because I sat there and thought, well, if you think it's okay, but I remember sitting here and saying, telling the optimist that it's your job to schedule the arena and say he's going to leave that alone. So um, Ryan wasn't here during that time, so he had no about what happened in that conversation. But I sat here and said, sure, we're going to let you guys have the arena, take it over, and they fixed it all up and they did some things to it. I just want to know if, if there was any conversation that they don't want it anymore or because I didn't feel it was right the other night for the parks board to say it was okay for them to use it on a certain date when we, the city council, told them that they who, were... Who was here representing them? But Chad showed up. Chad came. No, no there no, was no, no optimist here. I know. That's what I mean. Yeah. So who? So how were they contacted? How did they come here when they were there? Well, they came in and asked, hey, do you want the arena? I think... Might have been PJ and it was between before, our time, before it? me and Jeremy's time. Then I don't know that I remember that. I remember years ago when they when they took over. Has it been that long? I don't I, think I was still on the board. I'm still here, yeah, so I don't you would have been here, Matt. I, I think know. it was. It would have been before last okay. April. Um, I remember us talking about needing to get it whipped into shape. Well, and they came out and we said, okay, they want to take it over. They want to be the ones to schedule it. They Put want some signs up that say don't. They play everything here. was good. And they painted, they fixed the fences, they cleaned everything up. So, And they were the ones scheduling all their events last year. They didn't have to come to the city to ask us when they had an event. They just told us. Well, then Chad came in the other day and said if he wanted the rodeo. I said, I think we told them they could have it. Ryan wasn't here for that. Nobody else on the board knew anything about it. So I thought I would bring it up tonight to find out while we're all here if that's something we still... Um, I don't want to rain on the Optimus. They've done a great job doing Did that. Did you I contact take, them? I will. I have not contacted them yet. I want to make sure... We were all on the same page that our, everybody's okay with them doing that. My concern would be that, um, and I don't know if it's a real concern. I mean, we, we had the discussion um, six or seven months ago about people using the arena um, without permission. Right. And we and, talked about... And Ryan, and Ryan went over that and they we're covered under the blanket. Um, I'm, I'm not sure exactly how the individual goes as far as the sheriff's office is covered when he comes up and does an event. So, Optimus is covered when they do an event, so it has to be under their umbrella or someone would have to bring us some liability insurance proof of. Right, and that's I guess that would be my concern of, about the Optimus Club giving permission to use the arena because it is still city-owned, right? Yeah. I'm not saying they can't or shouldn't. I'm just, that's a, that's a concern that pops into my head. And I think they're best, they're best to control the arena. They, they have the events. They've got like three planned already this summer. Yeah, I agree. But I just want to make sure that we're not uh, crossing things there a little bit. Oh. Well, I would I would say for right now, somebody needs... And we have a new administration, and I don't think there's much in writing. You remember when we did all that, when the Optimus, when they came in and said, we want the arena, we want to take it back over, we want to put money into it, but we don't want to do it 
when the city's scheduling stuff against us. We want to have full runs since they built it to begin with. Well, it sounds like we need to write a contract with the Optimus Club. Well, and that might be what needs to happen. I mean, I, yeah. I, I, hang on, Ryan. So, Ryan, my concern allowing a third party to schedule um, on their own without consulting the city is that it is a city park and if we schedule an event and we don't know about their event because they haven't had any conversation with us that could create some issues and so I have no challenge with um, the optimist being able to use the arena whenever they choose I would prefer that all scheduling for all events in the park go through the city. That way there is a centralized point of contact so that we don't have scheduling issues. You know, we don't have, um, you know, people fighting for space. Um, it could just help us to avoid that. Let's, uh, let's contact the board and maybe on the next meeting get a, a representative in here yeah. from them and... We'll, we'll figure it everything out. I don't want them to feel like we just all of a sudden pulled it from underneath them. I don't, I, and that's why we haven't really announced the whole Chad thing because it needs to be talked about and wants to. And uh, I don't want them to think we're going against the agreement we made. Well, in the meantime and in the between time, let's. Yeah. We, we need to get Chad. If he's got to do something in the next 30 days, is he talking about No, his is until. Days? I forget what, May something. Well, that's 30 days. days. Well. Well, we need to find no, was, we need to find whatever's in writing about the agreement. You remember what day that was, Brian? And we need to quit making our agreements yeah, that aren't in writing. Right. Okay. Well, anyway, it wasn't for a while. I don't yeah. think it was for a while, but right. it's a kids rodeo. I was just gonna I was just gonna say that if it's coming up soon, let's get him taken care of, and then we can move forward with yeah. the board members. I agree with that. With Optimus. Mm -hmm. That's a thanks for bringing that yeah, up. Yeah, bring it. Yeah. Okay, well, it's someone one. Yeah, I was going to go by office and go, hey, you, you know. It needs to be dealt with officially. <laughs> I agree. Yeah. And you're right. I think and we, probably ought, to, we, we probably ought to deal with the same thing officially with the other ones that use the, the part. Well, if anyone who uses it for an event, one of the things that I will require from any organization is that they will have to provide the city a certificate of liability. Basically, what it does is their insurance, um, whoever they have their insurance with, will just add that coverage for that specific event, and they will cover the city. That way, the city is not held responsible for anything that happens there. Right, right. So it's really no extra cost, uh, but it just does provide us coverage um, just to make sure that uh, the city is held harmless. Sure. Okay. Thank you. That's all I had. Thanks. Sir. Awesome. Anything else? Do we need to go into closed meeting for anything? Anything for no. Make a motion we adjourn. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Mark this day in history. No.